Hey guys, this is Mr. Hart. In this live scribe, I want to go through the infamous flagpole problem. Okay, it seems like every physics student ever has done this problem at some point in their lives. So what we want to do is we have two people running towards a flagpole. First guy is six kilometers away from the flagpole, and he's running at nine kilometers per hour. Second guy is five kilometers away, and he's running at eight kilometers per hour. Okay. So first thing to keep in mind is that the flagpole doesn't really mean anything to us. It's really just a mark for our origin point. Okay. So what we call zero will be the flagpole's location. Okay. So it really doesn't do anything to the problem. It just is a reference point. Okay. But if you think about runner uh, A, okay, we'll call this guy A and this guy B. And if you think about runner A, his velocity time graph or sorry, his position time graph is just going to look like this. He's going to have a constant velocity, and he's going to be traveling with some speed, right? And it'll just be a straight line, basically. And the other runner is doing the same thing with a slightly smaller slope, and most likely they're going to hit pretty near the flagpole, but we don't know exactly sure where that's going to be. But we're just looking for that intersection point between the two of them. Okay. So let's write it like this. Let's call west of the flagpole minus and east of the flagpole uh, positive. Okay. And so let's just focus on runner A. So if we look at the position for runner A, it's just the velocity he's running at times the time uh, minus 6 kilometers. Okay. And if we look at the position of runner B, it's just his velocity times the time plus 5 kilometers. Right. So we just look at their velocities and their relative distances from the pole. Okay. Well, when they meet up, okay, we know that their positions are going to be equal. They're going to be the same. So we just set these two equations equal to each other. So you get VAT minus 6 equals VBT plus 5. Okay. And we want to solve for time. Well, if that's the case, let's get everything on the same side. Okay. So we're going to get VAT, that's minus VBT over here, and we'll add 6 to the other side, so we get 6 plus 5. Okay, so we just had those guys switch places, basically, and then we'll factor out the T. We get 11 on this side, 11 kilometers, and then... We'll divide by that, and we'll end up with T by itself. So T equals 11 kilometers divided by the, the difference in their velocities, but because they're going in opposite directions, okay, it's really the addition. So when we plug it in, just be careful, okay, keep track of the minuses, because uh, runner A's velocity is 9 kilometers per hour, minus runner B's velocity, which is really negative 8 kilometers per hour because it is the difference between, or it's heading in the negative direction, so negative kilometers per hour, okay, which gives us 11 km over 17 kilometers per hour, and when we do that and we think about the units, that makes sense because we'll end up with hours for our units, and then 11 divided by 17 gives us about 6.5. Okay? So that's the time. So we're almost there. Um, and then what we got to do from there is simply just plug it back into one of the runner's equations. Okay, let's just use runner A. So the position for runner A, okay, was VA T minus 6. Okay? And again, we can just use his equation plug in the time we just found and find his position at that time, and it has to be the exact same position as the other runner, right? Because that's the time they're meeting up. So we can use either one. We'll get the same answer. Okay, but let's just plug it in. So we get 9, okay, times 0.65 minus 6, and then we put that on the calculator. you get that the distance away from the flagpole is minus 0.15 kilometers. Okay? And there we go. That's our answer. So what does that mean relative to the flagpole? Well, if this is the flagpole, they're going to meet a distance 0.15 kilometers west. Okay? So this is where they give a high five or whatever. 
Okay, this is where they meet up. Okay, there we go. So we just set the equations equal to each other, and we got our result. One last thing I want you to keep in mind, if you notice, this result right here, 11 kilometers over 17 kilometers per hour. Notice that's just the total distance they were traveling over the total speed they were traveling with. So sometimes you can do these problems and just think of the runners as being one runner traveling with the combined distance and speed of the two runners. Okay, so that's a note for another time. Okay, but there you go. That's the flagpole problem. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and thank you for listening.